Welcome to Primo Race Center inside a brand new 2024 Coachman Apex 251 RBK. This is a ultralight series built with Asdel in the walls to bring down the weight but also help to eliminate the chance that uh, water is going to get into the structure and do things that you wouldn't otherwise want. So we're going to take you through some amazing updates here they've done certainly over the last year. Uh, so in the last year, year and a half, we've had an update here in the bedroom. So first off, I should mention the first versions of this had a sort of a swivel TV design. So great redesign in that you have a much bigger opening coming into the front bedroom now. So you're about a, almost a four foot door opening, which is great. So you've got two hidden doors there that'll close behind you. And then underneath the bed, we've got a storage system that they share with the Northern Spirit series by Coachman as well. Uh, that we do carry so you've got a great spot here to stash away shoes and boots and sandals a great spot to be able to sit down and then you've got a spot to put that laundry basket as well as drawers for everybody and then you've got some depth here underneath so you can still stack clothes and sweaters and things like that so it's a really great way to have almost a well it's really a walk-in closet is the concept and it certainly does deliver on that you've got windows on both sides that will open so if you're more of a natural ventilation person you're going to appreciate that you do have those windows and the one is an emergency exit as well and then you've got that wonderful windshield here in the front so you get just great natural light if you just want to sit back in the morning read a book and catch up on the day's events then a wonderful place to do that here in the privacy of your bedroom you've got a large storage area above the bed as well so great depth here you're coming almost three feet on the top so a lot of storage there and they've got two hanging spots here and then a very open design next to the bed which i know a lot of my customers prefer uh, so it's very easy to again get in and out but also if you've got a cpap machine things like that books and stuff that you like to keep near you you've got a spot for all that we do have both usb as well as 120 volt power on both sides of the bed and as i mentioned on the exterior video we do have 200 watts of standard um, solar power as well we are a ducted ceiling here for air conditioning and we're ducted for heat as well and then we do have an additional vent in the bedroom as well so again more natural ventilation should you wish it as we come in the door something again that's changed in the last year so they've gone away from a traditional stereo system to uh, something that has a wireless speaker so that wireless speaker does charge up here for you when you're plugged in and you can take that out to the picnic table down on the beach wherever you are as most of us now carry a cell phone or some kind of device with us typically that streams music uh, we can carry music on it or simply stream that through the device so it gives you the kind of the music where you are rather than necessarily having those speakers on the outside that are maybe projecting onto somebody else's campsite. As soon as we come in, we've got our great monitor panel here. So we've got the ability to again, check on light, turn on lights, extend our slide out, put out our awning, all those basics we're going to want to, as well as check on battery life, check on tank levels. So those things you're going to use all the time, right where you want them, right when you walk in that door. The other thing I like about the opening here that they've done with the redesign is the fact that now you can have you know, six, eight people, you know, three couples kind of sitting around here chatting, especially if the weather changes and you have to be inside for a bit because you can use the end of the bed here as a great spot to sit. So by that opening up at the front end, it really has changed the unit. Another nice little feature too in the last year, they've gone to a couch now that does have the recline capability. So you've got the two reclining sides to it. Well, it'll still give you a great bed for a grandchild. Again, if you occasionally have uh, visitors with you and then naturally the dinette will drop down. So you have that bed as well, which is a bit wider. So you could have, you know, adults as well as children, you know, sharing the space if once in a while you do have those younger visitors. So part of the redesign was bringing that television more in line with that couch, which makes more sense for most people. I should mention the bedroom is wired for a secondary TV as well. And then still giving you that large window with the ventilation looking onto your campsite side. Now you do get a little bit of storage here on the one end of the dinette and then you'll have a little bit of storage which is great for kind of games and movies and things like that so great size tv as well so again if you're drawn inside sometimes because of the bugs or the weather that changes you've got a great spot to sit back relax you can literally kick up your feet now and you're going to have great cross ventilation here with the two windows opposing each other that are of the same size great storage continues throughout the slide out so we've got the two big cupboards up above and look at the depth of the counters you just do not see this in the rv industry enough it's such a rarity that it really stands out look at the space that you have behind the stove so you can literally have a toaster or a coffee maker completely behind the stove which frees up a lot more space so if you're someone who does enjoy cooking you're going to really appreciate this kitchen also to the depth of the cabinet so the storage this one has always thrown me because it goes back so far so you get just a tremendous depth. You're probably about three and a half feet in sections in terms of storage. So again, big pots and pans. If you want to carry a mixer or those kind of things, you can do that on a 251, which is great. And you still get lots of drawers. You have a pots and pans drawer as well. 
again, becoming more of a rarity in a lot of floor plans, especially if it's an ultralight geared at a certain weight point and a certain length. Uh, this one's coming in about 5,100 pounds and tip to tail 29 feet. Uh, so the body's sort of 25. Uh, so it does fit a lot of campsites, which is great. And it just opens up a lot of vehicle choice as well. We are equipped here in the kitchen with a 12 volt fridge. So we've got a, a eight cubic foot Furion fridge with lots of depth. So it's 12 volts, huge depth here. Again, a lot of storage, plus our freezer. We've got a little dedicated pantry here next door as well. So again, even more storage. So anywhere they can here, they've really given you just a lot of work surface. Uh, great backsplash here as well, even a window in the kitchen. And then we get to the bathroom, which is where basically behind that outside kitchen on the outside. So it is massive because you have the depth here to work with. So you've got a great glass shower here, lots of elbow room. You've got a skylight above, so lots of headroom. Again, great storage continues into the vanity as well as the medicine cabinet. And then these cabinets are just amazing. So when you want that storage for towels and extra sheets and you know potentially more clothing, if you're going uh, you know several months in a row, you've got that here. You've got cabinets that are roughly about four and a half feet wide. Depth is about three feet. Plus we have the hanging storage here as well. So that storage theme continues. We've got a couple vents here in the bathroom. Everybody likes to ask us what those are for. That's actually to duct the heat into that outside kitchen area. So if you get into some temperatures at night, this, especially as we get in the fall and this time of year where it's a little bit cooler, uh, it's gonna make sure that everything is flowing water-wise the way it should. We'd invite you out to Primar V Center to come out with a much closer look at this absolutely stunning two-tone kitchen in this brand new 251 RBK in Coachman's Apex Ultralight Series.